Welcome back to Template Tutorials and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create a, a letter head like this. So without wasting much of your time, let's get started. So I'll close this here. I'll go to don't save. Okay, so first thing that we have to do there, we have to go to the insert tab there. So we'll go to the shapes. So you have to insert a rectangle shape at the top there. So this way is okay for me. So you have to also position your own very well. So move it to the other corner there. So you will not leave it this way. We are not done with the rectangle there. As you position it to the top there, we have to again go to that small icon there. So you have it. We call it edit shape. So you go to the. If you click on it, then you go to the edit points. You see, we have four points. One, two, three, four. So we want to edit the points there. So you point. Uh, place your cursor at the left down, left bottom of the shape. You see. So we drag that one. You see a little bit downward. Um. So this way is okay for me. So I'll not stop there again. This one, I'll click on hold this one and I'll drag it to the down. So this way, I don't want it to go far. You can also customize your own to the way you want it to be to your satisfaction. Shall I let me see? So this way is okay for me. So I'll not stop it there again. I'll click on that one. You know, um, we will go to the sh outline shape and the shape outline. The shape outline refers to the line that surrounds that shape. You know, there's one line that surrounds the shape. So I want it to be none. Even though you might not see it, but if you want to see it, you can change the color of it and increase the size of the outline. You see it clearly. So I'll make it none. Okay, so I'll move it this way. So here I'll move it down, down small. Okay, so this way is okay for me. So I'll leave it this way. I'll not stop it there. I'll right click on it and I'll go to the shape format. I want to change the color of it. So I'll leave it as the solid fill, but I'll rather come to this side and I'll change the color to green. Okay, so let me duplicate it. So I'll right click, I'll press and hold the control key and drag to duplicate. So let me change the color of that one also. I'll make it black. Okay, so the black there, I have to bring it to this side because that one also I want to edit the points of the um, this shape, this current shape. So I'll again go to the points there, uh, the shape edits. I'll go to the edit points. So again, I want this one to come out this way okay I think this way is okay for me so and this one let me send it this way small okay so I'll leave it this way so let me send it to the back you see you have to come to the shape formats and you have something like same backward if you click on it once it will send it to the back of the other sheet okay so I'll leave it there let me bring it out small I'm using my control key to bring it out you can also um, use a control key to customize your own so like this one okay so I'll leave it this way that's good for me okay so I'll not also stop there again I'll go to the insert tab again and I'll go back to the shapes so again we are inserting a rectangle again but this time around we are uh, just focusing that one on the uh, bottom side okay so this way i can bring it to the down so let me leave it there let me change the outline also to none and also i want to change the color of it um let me change the color i have to right click on that one also the color i'll make it black okay so let me close it to a little bit this way so i'll bring it to the bottom Okay, so I'll duplicate it. You see, I'll duplicate it again for the last time. Okay, so let me use my arrow key to position it well. So this time around, I'll make this one a little bit, you know, much bigger, like this. So let me change the color of that one to the green that we chose earlier. So this way is a little bit okay for me. So I'll now also stop there. I'll come and zoom it in. So when you now zoom it in this way, we have to move on to the next step. And the next step that I have to do there is to go to the insert tab again and we'll go to the text box. We'll draw a text box this way. So we'll make some type with some text in there to um you can make it the name and say name of that person. And the next one it will be the position that that person is host. So it will be chief. Um let's make it chief executive. 
executive is spelled wrongly there. It's you. So make it chief executive. So let me just highlight all of it. Go to the over there. Let me change the size of it to 13. Okay, I'll leave it at 13. Okay. So let me come. Okay, I didn't bold it. Let me bold all of it. So you know, you can see that there are some spaces between the two and the name, set name, set name. So I will want that space to close. So I'll just highlight the first one. I'll go to the layout. You see, we have the after. So after there, I'll change it to zero. This one also. The after there, I'll change it to zero. Okay. So this one I'll just leave it because there's no text under it. So I'll leave it that way. Okay. So we are not leaving there. We are not stopping there again. We are moving on to the address. So we make it plus one, two, three, um, four, five, six. 7890. So the last one there, I'll make it the um the actual address, the location. So I'll choose anywhere. Okay, let me start it with one, two, three. Anywhere straight st any city. No, as this one, you, all of you knew that we are using this one as template, so we are just using any address at all that we want to use. But it's not a real address, we are just using any numbers. So you can use any um, an actual address there. So the text box there, let me remove the outline for the text box also. I'll go to the shape format, I'll go to the outline, I'll make it none. So you see, uh, you, when you hover over any, any color, it will change to the outline, but I want it to be none. Okay, so. I think this way is okay for me. So I'll, re I'll position it well. Maybe this way for now. So let me duplicate this one to the right side of it. In that place, I'll make a date. And, and the date is 2nd of July. Let me make it this way. 2nd of July. Um, July is spelled as J-U-L-Y 2025. Okay. So... I think this way is it's okay, okay for me. So I'll, let me bring this one to the top there. We have to insert our logo, so probably I'll just have to add. Um, so here, if you have to insert the logo, you have to have your company name. So for me, I don't have a company name, so I'll just write this as company name. Oops, you know. Uh -huh. So let me do this with company name. And at the bottom of it, I have a tagline. So I'll make it a tagline. And the tagline and logo is okay. It's slogan, right now. So the slogan here, I'll change the font style of it to the semi bold, um, which is here, semi bold. And the uh, company name, I'll change it to the Algerian. So let me also close the layout there to zero. Let me increase the size of it. It's bold. Let me remove it. Increase the size of it to probably. I think 16 is okay for me. Okay, so let me close it a little bit. Push it to the right side. Duplicate it. Okay, so let me clear everything inside there. So as we are clearing it inside there, we want to insert um, the, an image inside there. You know, because if you just place your cursor here and insert an image, you know, you cannot move it to the way that you want to move it. So usually just um, leave an empty text box like this. Leave the case of breaking inside there. So you now go to the insert tab there. Go to the pictures. You go to where you have to insert your image. So I'm going to insert this my logo. So I'll insert it there. So you see, my logo is now inserted inside of that text box. So you see, you can open it to the way you want it to be. Um, height, give it the height. So the height will depend on the text box. Okay, so this way, you, let me move it to the, this corner. So I'll bring my uh, my logo and my slogan also to that side. This way, close to it. I think this will look perfect, right? So you can also do your own to the way. Uh, you can also customize your own. But the color there, if you want, you can make it green by doing it this way and go with the green. Okay. So the next thing that I want to do here is to again come. Let me duplicate this one. Or any of the text box, I will duplicate this one. I will duplicate it, duplicate it to this side. Okay, so let me increase the and the width and the height. So I'll go with the dear. So the name of that person. So it will be Mr. 
or doctor so you can be mr you add a name and the same name so this way you go to the downside so the downside you can add the text you know whatever you want to you now address but um for the sake of this video purposes or for the sake of this template i'll just generate a random text so i'll go with the equal sign rand um I'll open brackets so i want it to be um two three you see now click on ok so this one is simply telling me that i'm creating um two paragraphs and each paragraph must contain three lines so that's what that's why it's it generated this way so um so i'll leave it this way as I said earlier on, you can also customize your own to the way you want it to be by addressing that person with some kind of text. Let me move the board. Okay, so let me push it up small. This way is okay. So let me duplicate this one also to the bottom side, uh, which is here. So I'll just make it as um, general manager. General manager. That's the position that I'm holding. Um, so uh, let me open it this way. Let me remove the boldness and also duplicate it. I'll not stop it there. I'll duplicate it to the top. This way, my name will be Morgan Maxwell. So let me make that one bold. Control B to bold it. Okay. So let me duplicate that one also to the top, and that one will be my signature. So my signature. Um, it will be Morgan, so let me change it. You know, usually it's the Edwardian script because that one looks a, a bit uh, more advanced, like a signature. So let me increase the size of it to 24. This way, okay. Let me position it to the middle and also bring this one down so it won't be far away. Okay, I think this will look looks better, right? Okay, so you can bring this one down also small. So I know also stop. I know also stop there again. I'll move on to this one. Um, let me clear it off. Let me remove the bonus and the text. Let me leave it. To the, let me leave it to the default one, which is Calibri, and also the text. I'll make it fourteen. So let me open it this way. Okay, let me make it this way. So what you have to do now is to insert the our email. So you can make it company. I don't have any email address, so I'm making company at gmail.com. So you can insert your company your company email there. Okay, so this way. This way. Okay, so let me make it this way. What did I just do? Open it. Okay. So you know the company, um, the company, uh, the email address. You know, email addresses or emails usually have an icon. So you know, you can easily that we can go to the any web browser and download an icon and insert. But uh, Microsoft Word has upgraded to the extent that you can just use some kind of numbers and um alphabets together and press some command to change it to an email icon so for instance i can use one f for e7 one f for e7 and i'll press the window uh, i say window sorry um sorry for that and i'll press the alt x to change to an icon i hope you can see it there uh -huh. so that's how windows has now upgraded to that extent so you can just use that one to um create an icon so i'll just maybe customize it or place it to this side um probably here let me duplicate that one but this time i don't want it to be an email i would rather change it to phone so i'll make it plus zero one nine um eight seven six five um four three two one okay it's okay so so here also let me just change this one so this one will be two seven zero six. So alt X is a change to a phone icon. So let me make that one bold so that it will be clear. Let me increase the size of this one. Okay, 
Okay, so that's to the extent that WhatsApp, uh, I said WhatsApp, sorry. Uh, Microsoft has not agreed to. Let me send it backward. Backward. So that it will close to each other. Use my arrow key to, recite, uh, to position it. So let me duplicate that one also. Duplicate here. So this time around, this one also to be the location. So my location, I'll just choose any, oops, any, any city. Um, city this way. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So I'll leave it this way. So here also, let me bring this one and let me clear this. And I'll make it this one also. You have um one F four C D. Oops, it's four. One F four C D. Alt X. So it will change the location. Okay, so let me just make this one also bold. Let me bold all of it. So all of it will be clear. Bold. And lastly for this one. Um, let's see. Bold. Oops. What did I do? I'll just come here and bold it there. Okay. So I think if you go this way, it will come. So let me position it well. So all of them will be on points. Okay, so any city, any city, one, two, three, four. So I'll go with this. Okay, so here also, let me send that one so to the back. Um, this way to the back so that it also fits well for me. Okay, so this way, I think it looks better, right? I think it looks like that and it's okay it's even okay for us to use so thank you so much for watching you can also check it very well like this you know and also customize anything that you want to customize in there thank you so much for watching and see you later in my next video